Hi everybody. Over the course of the last year, we've reviewed many things at Road CC, and the best of those get added each month to the Road CC Recommends section on the site. There's a link to the Road CC Recommends in the description below if you want to check out the full list. And there's loads of great stuff on it. Everything that we consider for these end of year awards has to have been reviewed on Road CC and been featured in Recommends. If a particular manufacturer didn't send us their stuff, then we can't rate it. Very, very true. Um, we've been back over our Road CC Recommends list over the Christmas break. We've had a look at each accessory that we've reviewed, haven't we? And we've chosen the very best of them to be uh, on the awards list here. So there are three types of awards. The Bargain Buy Award goes to the kit that we feel gives the best value for money. So if your budget is your primary concern, then that's the one to look for. For the Money No Object Award, we don't even look at the price. It's all about the performance. And lastly, you have the Editor's Choice somewhere in the middle. So this award is for accessories that have the best mix of performance and value. We won't always give out all three awards in each category. It all depends on what we've reviewed, what has made it into Road CC Recommends over the last year. So let's take a look now at some of the accessories that have made the grade this year. We'll start with bags, as a lot of bags have featured on Road CC Recommends over the past year. Yeah, we've had a lot of bags through the door. Uh, let's go for some honourable mentions first. So bags that haven't got an award but have done really well. The straight cut top tube bag is a very sturdy and strong option. That's a useful size. It's got good water resistance and multiple fixing options. Uh, straight Cut, I've got another one in the list as well, the Bagel Bar Bag, which really impressed us as well. It's handmade, it uses Wiles' excellent nano straps to give it a really rock solid setup. Um, then there's Altura's Thunderstorm City 20 Pannier, which is an excellent durable 20 litre capacity option, packed with co uh, commuter focused features. Um, there's the Apertura Racing Long Top Tube Bag, which uh, squeezes two litres of flexible storage into a slim bag with rock solid fittings. And also from Apertura, the Backcountry Full Frame Pack is well worth considering if you want a top class, expedition worthy bag for keeping lots of kit low and dry and secure in your frame. Finally in this list, a long list, the Camel Chops <laughs> Blimp 2 handlebar bag is a great quality option. It's well made, it's made in the UK and it's customisable to match your bike. Our Bargain Buy Award goes to the Oxford Aqua V32 Double Pannier Bag. It's a fantastic price for such a usable, rugged pair of panniers. The two 16-litre bags are made from a durable, fully waterproof fabric with a roll-top closure, and each has a zipped compartment on the outside and reflective details too. The rear of each bag section is also stiffened, and there's a toughened bumper at the bottom. Um, these are really going to last you. Yeah, really good bags for them money. Uh, talking of money, our Money No Object Award goes to the Camelback Hall Commute 30 backpack. Now, this is not cheap, but it is packed with features that make the daily ride to work just that little bit simpler. You get simple, dedicated spaces for all your usual commuter clobber, including a laptop. There are side pockets too for easy access to things like your lock, and it's all very weatherproof. Now, if you're going to put together a wish list of features you'd like to see on your ideal urban backpack, then this Camel Backpack likely has them all. Uh, it's really well made, backed by a lifetime guarantee. It's a brilliant option. Brilliant stuff. Lastly, our Editor's Choice Award goes to the Bump Rager MIK Commuter Boot Bag, which is really well made, stable, and uh, it's a great rear rack bag. You get a good carrying capacity, excellent waterproofing, and impressive practicality, both on and off the bike. Uh, there are handy zipped pockets on each side, an elasticated end pocket, and a bungee cord on top that allows you to stash a jacket. Yeah, you get all kinds of stuff in it. Very really handy. Good. Everything else, we've lumped into one big miscellaneous category here, which means there's a lot to get through. Now, some shout outs to the stuff that didn't get an award first, but it's still well worth a look. Met's latest Manta Mips Aero Road Helmet impressed us with a good aero performance married to impressive cooling, weight and comfort. Uh, the Giro Helios Spherical Helmet is excellent too, an incredibly comfortable performance lid that gets the low profile Mips spherical system. Yeah, really good. Uh, for lights, we've got Giant's Recon HL350, which is a brilliant front commuter light. It delivers a decent level of brightness, it's got good run times, fast USB charging, and it's got a compact, lightweight, waterproof build. 
Uh, Science and Sports Beta Fuel Gel crams a huge amount of carbs into an easy to consume product. It contains about half as much energy again as other similarly sized gels and that means you can carry a lot less of it around on your bike. Makoff's Stealth Tubeless Puncher Plug Kit provides a whole tubeless repair solution that hides neatly in your bar ends. Uh, the superb build quality and sheer handiness makes it well worth the price. The tail fin cargo cage is a versatile way of carrying extra load on a bike packing trip and will last a long time. Uh, the load ship converts the cage into an L shape so that heavier items like big canteen bottles are easier to mount. Without it, you can mount longer items like tent poles. Yeah, really if you good like. for getting, getting on your bike packing and going away. Uh, if it's raining, the super wide SKS Chromoplastic 65mm mudguard set performs faultlessly, significantly reducing the amount of muck and road spatter that would otherwise end up on you and your bike. They've been around a long time. These guards are tough, high quality. They come with a five year guarantee. They're really, really easy to recommend. And then there's the BBB T-Rex grip, which is a great tool for the home mechanic. It lets you hold your cassette while you remove the lock ring. It's easy to position the handle, so it's in a convenient place to provide the resistance that you need and it's long enough that there's plenty of leverage there too. Yeah, it certainly is. Uh, the Silka Synergetic Drip Lou really impressed us. Yes, it is £32 for a bottle, but it's an exceptionally clean and quiet lube that will save you many times that amount, replacing prematurely worn components it really well. Uh, for those using indoor trainers, Synergetic Lube is going to be your cleanest option. If there's no dirt to pick up, it's going to stay clean almost indefinitely. Yeah, it's really good. I've got that on my uh, indoor bike really mm. good and if you want something to read after your bike fettling then end to end by paul jones is excellent at its heart this is a book about people and it's full of fascinating insight into the uk's signature long distance challenge with insightful interviews with past and present record holders that is a lot of recommendations yes, but on to the awards now our bargain buy award goes to the prime race computer mount this good looking alloy out front mount holds garmin and wahoo computers as firmly as you could want for an excellent price in terms of value for money it's hard to look past it Premium models like those from K-Edge offer a slightly slimmer, sleeker profile, but at more than double the price, making this Prime mount a real bargain. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. Uh, if you want to mount something on your Prime mount, then the Hammerhead Carew 2 cycle computer has really impressed us, and that takes our Money No Object Award. It has an improved compact design with a 3.2 inch screen for viewing lots of data fields, as well as its beautiful map in lots of detail. The device is packed with great features such as um, live Strava segment overlay and a really good climber pop-up which gives you a colour-coded elevation profile showing where the steep sections are on a climb, which is brilliant mm. uh, if you're doing something for the first time. The Karoo 2 gets an impressive 32 gigabytes of storage, dual Bluetooth chipset, a quad-core processor with two gigabytes of RAM, all of which makes it fast and responsive and it's brilliant for navigating routes or tracking your progress if you're training. Our Editor's Choice Award goes to the Raveman PR2400 USB rechargeable dual lens front light. This is a powerful versatile light that lets you switch between a road friendly beam and a full Monty 5 LED flood for maximum illumination. Good run times are backed up by great build quality and you get an easy to read display and a wireless remote for switching modes without taking your hands off the bars. Love yeah. that. Brilliant. Yeah, it's a really good light. In the dip beam road setting, you still get 900 lumens, which is enough for all but the fastest and most technical road descents. And a quick press of the big mode button gives you access to the max power 2400 lumen mode that uses all five LEDs, throwing light high and wide and long to give you a clear view of the trail. It's brilliant. It's a light that will cover all of your on and your off road riding. So that is all the accessories done and dusted. If you've been tempted by any of the award winners in this video, then there are links, of course, to all the products we've covered in the description below. Let us know your favorite bike accessories in those comments. And as ever, thank you for watching. Now hit that like button if you've enjoyed this and subscribe to see more videos from us. Cheers. Goodbye.